So how can you be a perfect lift driver or as close to perfect as possible? In this video, I give you five power tips on how to get the highest rating possible. Number one, you first need to understand how these rating systems work. On the Lyft platform, Lyft drops your lowest rated ride out of your last 100 rides. And actually now you're defaulted, you're automatically given a five-star rating as a driver unless the passenger rates otherwise. If they do rate otherwise, they need to distinguish why they're rating four stars or less. If that reason is out of your control as a driver, let's say because of traffic, that rating is not gonna count against you. Number two, you need to learn when to stop talking. Now this is a more nuanced skill. You need to understand communication skills, interpersonal skills, to really understand what your passenger wants during their ride. Now you could be having a great conversation with your passenger, but keep in mind that doesn't necessarily mean you need to have a great conversation during the whole ride. If you find conversation tapering off or if you're simply running out of things to talk about, no worries, just put some music on and enjoy the rest of your ride. Number three, be accommodating. Yes, it is your vehicle, but also be accommodating to your passenger. Now, hey, you may be a metal fan, but maybe your passenger doesn't want to listen to death metal on their ride. Or if it's 80 degrees outside, they don't necessarily want to bake in a car with no AC. Number four, the biggest bang for your buck is vacuuming your vehicle and cleaning the windows. You don't need to spend a ton of money every other day sending your vehicle to the car wash, but at the very minimum, clean the windows and vacuum the interior for a good presentation. Number five, here's a great insider power tip. If you're using Google Maps on Uber or Lyft, look in front of you, see what's upcoming and be ready. I'm not talking just about exits and turns, but also for the drop-off destination. At least what I find on Google Maps is sometimes it'll direct you to an alley behind the person's apartment or home. Make a note of this, make sure the drop-off is actually on the right road. So those are five power tips on how to be an almost perfect Lyft driver. Let me know your feedback or additions down below in the comments.